Hey guys. Hey Bram. Hey, hey Bram. Bram. What's the project today? Bikes for the neighborhood kids. You mean just like we do every day? Awesome. Yeah, but the bikes are for a specific set of kids this time. Have you met the Patels yet? They moved in about a week ago, into that house next to the bus stop. Oh, the really tiny house? That's cool. And they have a kid? Actually, they've got six. Six? But I think that house only has one bathroom. When I was a kid, we had an outhouse. So that's who these bikes are for. Seems kind of inconsiderate to ask them to store all these bikes for us. They've got just the one house. Yeah, that would be why we're giving them bikes to use, not asking them for extra storage. They can't all fit in the Patel's car, so it can be hard to get them all to school on time. We thought if the older ones had bikes to ride to school, that would help. So we're fixing up some of the bikes that have been lying around for a while. They'll be as good as new when we're done. That's awesome. So are the Patels coming to the core now? Whose Sunday school class will they be in? We've invited them, but we don't know yet whether they'll come. We should probably let them get their bearings in the neighborhood for a bit. Wait, so we're giving them the bikes and we don't even know if they'll come to church? Shouldn't we wait to see if they'll take us up on the invite before we just give bikes away? The bikes aren't for bargaining, Bram. We're giving them bikes because they need bikes. I get it. It just seems like we have a lot of people to take care of at the core. Does it really make sense to put all this effort into people that might not even come? Yes. I... Really? The right thing is the right thing, even when we don't get anything back for it. It's part of our calling on the SRT, to show God's love to everyone around us. Remember what Captain Ford said on Sunday about the character of a leader from Micah? I've got it. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with your God. Micah 6, 8. We're leaders here. And being a leader in the Salvation Army means showing love and mercy to the Patels because they're in our community now. Because showing God's love is what we're about, even if it doesn't get people to come to the core. I guess that makes sense. So, you want to come to the backyard and help me find new fenders for these? Race you!